Right then. I want to talk today about trust and clothing and things related to those. I had a friend, I have a friend, I had a conversation with him recently about why we actually need to wear clothes. And you get, you get a simple answer when you hear the most that, well, we sexualize nudity, so we can't be naked without getting sexuality all over whoever. It's not true. It's not the reason. If it were the reason, we'd have a lot less problem with naked children running around. Because we're not that concerned with the sexualization of children. Like, youth? Yeah, but actually, I'm like, two-year-olds. Two-year-olds. Let them be naked. All that. Because no one cares. Someone cares. But none of this is the reason. The reason is just trust. And that there isn't any. There is such a horrible lack of trust in our society that we literally cannot reveal ourselves out of fear. It's really sad. I don't know what to do about it. We're hidden. Can't see you, can't see me. And for what? All the reasons are outdated now. But the trust is gone. You gotta earn trust, right? You gotta build it. It's like interest. You put investments in and you get something out, but nothing's being put in. And the default is nothing. It's open distrust. It's that I actually can't assume you're good. I can't assume that you're trying. Or that if something bad happens, you're going to work to stop it. And I don't see why we can't assume those things. I see why we don't. That's, that's a different matter. I don't know what the difference is between them. And I don't care if you can explain it. We have institutionalized distrust. Because I could take off all my clothes right now, and I'm not going to suffer much for it. But then, this video, will it be as accessible? What structures are in place to prevent the communication of trust? There are a lot of them. A lot of very big institutions and a lot of infrastructure going into it automatically because it's part of our value system. Don't trust people. And so yeah, that's that's daily pathology.